there may have been a meeting there um, so I want to I want to look at here I with part one I picked up that this uh, official christening was um, about about a month ago about a month ago and these I feel that these photographs were from that official that official christening about a month ago so what I want to do is I'm going to look into this guys okay a bit further um, I don't know what I'm going to ask here I think it's because of the photographs and the people the people that were arriving okay multiple problems multiple problems here to face multiple problems to face okay hmm the seven of wands in reverse multiple problems to face here goodness I wonder what sparked that off those multiple problems so I guess to well as you know I, I don't hide the fact that I, I actually did pick up that this was a surrogate child a surrogate birth uh, maybe this is the multiple problems that they're having to face with the christening with the birth with the hospital and all of these kind of things okay and i get this card again which uh is the uh the the one at uh, the ace of uh the ace of chalices and the ace of chalices and it's number one two so the number one problem here and it's not a problem because a child is a, is a beautiful, beautiful thing, okay? A birth of a child. Since the birth of this child, there has been, and that's on top of, that's on top of multiple problems. Since the birth of this child, which was a surrogate, and I'm going to stick with that, okay? And, you know, having a surrogate child within the royal family, you would have to be so strong. Because there's going to be so many questions about this. And I feel that they're hoping that after these official photographs and, and, and asking uh, the public, saying to the public, um, we we want to keep all of this privately. We don't, you know, we want we don't want to shroud um, you know, uh, have this child in a, a goldfish bowl so everybody can walk around this goldfish bowl and and look at our child. We don't kind of want that. Now I have got um, an advisor, an advisor there is an advisor advising what they should do about this situation. I also get this advisor maybe leaving soon, okay, maybe leaving. Because this, this is too much for anybody to try to advise about. So look out for that, somebody leaving, which is an advisor. Um, now I do get the energy here of um, this is Harry too it's not just Megan um, you know it's up to us uh, if we want to have a child uh, via a surrogate it, it is entirely up to us we can have we can do what the celebrities do and that's our kind of privacy. And Harry is sticking by this, okay? This privacy. So it's like the newspapers have been saying cloak and daggers, cloak and daggers are all over this situation with baby Archie. Yeah. 
Well, unexpected difficulties. Unexpected difficulties. Please tell me, you didn't, please tell me, Harry and Meghan, that by doing this, you would not expect difficulties. Because you want to keep this all private because you don't want people to find out that this was a surrogate child. Because that will open a whole can of worms, you know. Is Megan able to have a child? Uh, all these big stories, has she had a child in the past? Why, why would you choose this? to do this now I do get corruption here corruption why would I get the card corruption okay I get also part of this privacy was corruption Megan thought I, I actually do pick this up Megan thought that keeping this all secret and private <coughs> if we um, put these photographs on Instagram we are going to go viral what happens when you go viral on Instagram or YouTube or anything like this what happens if you have a platform that is monetized and this actually goes viral which it has done, okay, uh, all over the world. Maybe a hundred million hits or maybe more than that, okay. This is going to create money, okay, a lot of money, a lot of money just in one photograph. Just with drip, 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 drip. One photograph, two photographs, three photographs, and it's like it's like dangling carrots in the public's face of, and then they're all going to just dive onto this platform to actually get. It's a business move. It's a business move. That's what I'm getting here. I feel this is Megan's idea. You know, uh, if we're going to go viral with Archie then we do just do this one photograph at a time rake in the money and do it again and then do it again okay they may have been advised about this but there is corruption here so it's not all about just privacy and Archie uh, I think they're just they're, it's like they are taunting the public and the fans and and getting them kind of frenzied so they dive onto this platform to actually see Archie and that's exactly what's happened here okay okay so I didn't expect this to come out but this has come out here Um, let's pull up some I don't know what's coming out with this reading so let's just have a look uh, here I feel this is a money earner uh, a money spinner um, and both of those photographs have been um, released on Insta on their Instagram account and then the newspapers have all got their you know uh, from those photographs too and from Instagram okay the next card I get here is um, the star card and we have the hope card they're also testing with this the popularity of the Sussexes the popularity of the Sussexes because we have the hope card, they're hoping that this will um, this will actually work, that they will be able to earn money from this. 
and I don't know how much would you, would you earn from 100 million hits on Instagram uh, through the monetization work it out I, I let, let me see um, if you get if you get say 20,000 hits 30,000 hits that would be about uh, about 30 30 dollars okay well they're not they're not going to change their mind about this okay they're not going to change their mind about this uh, this is um, they they're wanting to get out of the UK I'll be honest with you this and, and as fast and as quickly as possible this card here the knight of wands wanting to get away from the UK I don't know why just the UK because it's global it's global I think they don't want to uh, rely on uh, taxpayers money here I get a change of home a change of home um, a change of home and they hope to and again I get the star card the change of home quite quickly here quite quickly um, yeah so quite quickly this is going to happen this change of home could be anywhere actually because they feel humiliated by you know all of these uh, British tabloids saying you know if you if you you know you're going to if you if you're going to spend the taxpayers money then you know we'd like to see a little bit more of of your of, you know of this of the royal family and uh, a little bit more of uh, Archie and not just one or two pictures so the there's a humiliation here and a punishment from the British public for what they've done of spending like three million on Frogmore, okay, of the taxpayers' money. Now, I, I, I also do get that, 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 that Harry and Meghan are kind of concerned because, you know, this money... Um, was not just on soft furnishings and things like this it, it was to uh, renovate a grade two listed building a historical building but then you know the the english tabloids are saying well you know um a place like buckingham palace is is open to the public and a place like uh windsor that's also had taxpayers money to to uh, restore uh, these old buildings have also had access and it's open to the public you know because the taxpayers have, have paid for this upkeep of this historical building uh, i think this is the argument here is that hang on a minute this is this is um this is out of the public purse because it is an historical building but I don't feel that any of any of the British public or any public will be allowed to walk through the gardens of Frogmore Cottage or walk through the house there and have a look inside the house, you know, once a year to, to have a look at, uh, you know, what's been restored and all of that kind of thing. I don't see that happening. Um, I th I feel these restorations, yeah, they are on the outside, but also, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, changes that have been done on the inside. So no, they wouldn't be able to. Uh, it wouldn't be open to the public like Buckingham Palace and other um, royal houses that have used taxpayers' money. Um, not at all okay so I do get um, the next card that I get here is the temperance all, all the taxpayers and the British public 
or saying is use the taxpayers money in moderation and if you do want to use the money then use your own money to refurb uh, a property because you know not uh, not it not nottingham cottage but uh, uh this uh, frogmore cottage is not kind of clusters one of the royal buildings as such where where the the public can actually walk around and view the gardens and things like that maybe frogmore estate uh once a year it's open but um I doubt if they'll allow public to walk through their house uh, here. So, um, I guess, guess this is the argument. Um, Harry and Meghan feel that, you know, it's an old historical building. It, it needs a lot of money to restore it to its natural uh, natural sense. And um, But then there's all the rest of it. You know, if you're going to refurb, Refurbishment is, is different to restoring a property. I mean, Big Ben is being restored at the moment, not refurbished. Now, I get a refurbishment here of this property with taxpayers' money. I actually feel it's wrong um, to do that, to take taxpayers' money um, and actually use it to refurb. So they're looking, they're, they've made it, they've done some mistakes here and um, they are humiliated by by this money being, um, you know, the amount of money that's been spent on on certain, uh, on Harry and Meghan as being public, you know, as being uh, published as, as it is every year of what, because, you know, it's the taxpayers that pay for this. Harry and Meghan did not realise they were spending money like water. And when this came public, they started to get embarrassed, humiliated. Right, that's it, we're not, because you have humiliated us, we're not going to show you Archie. I mean, <laughs> it's a bit childish, to say the least, okay. So we're going on to this property thing. I think the next thing they're doing is wanting to move out. You know, let's just move out of Frogmore and, and you know, make some money from these photographs and go and buy another property with this money that we make. One photograph at a time and we will we will put this money aside to buy another property. I do get a place in, in America, okay. I do get there's a friend to, I was looking at property for them um, in, in America. Uh, I think, I, 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 I strongly feel that's where they're heading. I feel this is why Harry is so stuck on this. No, our, Archie is not going to be in a fishbowl like I was growing up. No way. And if the public want to see, they will have to pay. And that's through Instagram, okay. I mean, we already pay by the refurbishments here. But they don't see it like that. No, this is our right. Um, but this, they've been humiliated. And if you want to see, you will pay. This, this is this is the corruption card the corruption card is being corrupt basically being corrupt because oh um, they they want the money from the taxpayers but they also want to make money uh, themselves here and thinking that the, the the public will never find out about this So this christening, I, I, what I want to do is I'm just going to collect these cards up and I'm going to look at um, these photographs and, um, and all of this. Um, well, I actually do get that one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six. I do feel that Harry and Meghan want power. Um, they, they want to amass as much money as they can <coughs> from whatever source here. Um, so get the Ace of Swords, which is power, power, power. They want to gain power and they're doing this. They are really teasing the world with these photographs because they know they will get a hit with, um, with this uh, social media account. So it's like they've got the power. We will release these photographs when we when we want to release them, not when you demand us to release them. So they have got the power. We will keep Archie out of a fishbowl and we will keep our lives private because we have the power. When we want to share our lives with you and want to and Megan wants to be sent to stage again. We will do this on our terms, not the public's terms. Okay. So what about this christening? Um, I actually picked up it didn't happen. The the this was like um, these photographs, these official formal photographs were about a month old, okay. Um, there's no sign of Tiggy on them, so I don't feel that's got anything to do with. I feel somebody like Tiggy would be invited some, to some celebration, which may have been the second. I get two, two celebrations here. And on the 6th, I feel it was a very informal kind of celebration. Uh, the first one was a month ago. And those photographs are of Archie, but a month younger than actually what he is at the moment. That's what I pick up. So, they're old photos. Okay, so somebody said as well, the engagement ring. I'm sure they'll Photoshop that as soon as they find that out um, well they got an advisor to advise them to do this okay an advisor the same advisor as, as before you know you can make this work for you and um, you can get your power by uh, and earn your money through this by taking your power back here you know, we are, <clears throat> we are going to just, because you've, you've said and speculated so many things about, uh, about this surrogate, which was true, by the way, <laughs> that now they're, they're keeping it all under wraps here, everything, okay. Uh, they thought they could get away with that process prosthetic belly and all of that um, now they're, they're really clamping down you know whatever you see we will we will be very careful what you what you're able to see we are only going to show you photographs of about a month ago so yeah this is this is all about the ten of pentacles and this is all about, uh, you know, the, they want the public, the world kind of global attention to support them financially. Uh, that's how they're going to work this. And I'm going to put that there. Okay. They, they want to be global, no doubt about it. And they've got the power to do this, but they're being guided by somebody how to do it correctly. I also, this could, could also indicate a house, okay, a new house, as I said with the other layout. Um, we can do what we like with the Ace of Swords. 
we have the power to do what we like here yeah i get the world card the world card okay and harry and megan are global they are global not just in the uk but they are global but they are part of they are part of the royal family and um they are kind of classed as the british uh, royal you know royals but they are global now they have i get the fool card here the fool the fool card they have acted foolish there's no doubt about it are they going to learn from their foolishness uh, that, that, that you know the world is not stupid that you know we will pick up on things like this I get the world card and the world card sorry the world card there the full card is that they were absolutely fools absolute fools okay this is going into the past this is why they've got this person on board to advise them here and yeah i get again in moderation in moderation do not expose archie with too many photos do it in moderation get them to wait okay because this is temperance the temperance card patience all in moderation and also spend money in moderation too this is another thing that they've learned because they've been exposed they've been exposed with this uh, financial report harry harry should know this harry should know this harry should know this he should know about about this financial report and i get here um the Knight of Chalices. The Knight of Chalices is, there is some good news here around the Sussexes. There is good news around the Sussexes and um, let's see what is this good news? What is this good news? Well, you know, they, they've got the world at their feet, that, that's for sure. They have got... They're aiming to get their power back here. Um, the good news is, is this foolishness is now into the past, okay? It's, it's, it's past. It's not, it's not going into the future. In future, it's all about moderation. Everything in moderation. Do things very, very slowly. And there's good news. Let's see what the good news is for the Sussexes. Here. Well, I do get uh, there is torment, the five of, of chalices. There's torment. Now, this is either tormenting the public. Uh, tormenting the fans here is that good news <laughs> maybe they're getting back at um, at what's been said here um, is that the good news because they can torment and, and dangle carrots in front of a world stage and then when they do bang you know they will they will actually earn the money okay there is a lawyer here involved there's a lawyer a lawyer a lawyer i feel the good news is that they're being tormented by i don't even feel that the newspapers have said anything bad about the sussexes nothing more than any other of the royals um, they're tormented by 
being humiliated by this financial report. I don't feel, by their own foolishness, okay. And they're tormented, okay, they're tormented over this. And there is a lawyer here. They may approach the newspapers for all of these stories. But I don't feel, I feel that they've approached a lawyer. But I don't feel this lawyer can do anything about this. Yeah, they get, I've got the devil card here, the devil card, the devil card. Okay, Harry and Meghan, I would say, Harry and Meghan are so, uh, I, I feel that they are so, um, that there's some immaturity here of how to deal with this, although, this advisor took over to steer them in the right direction, which this, this advisor is doing all in moderation, okay. But because of this publication of the financial report here and them actually getting a bad name that they didn't even know about this, they're actually saying, why did you not tell us, uh, as an advisor, why did you not tell us about this, this financial report here. Why did you not tell us about this? And now we're having to go through this damn humiliation here and torment. And now they've approached a, an, a <laughs> they've approached a lawyer because they feel that they have, that they have been treated badly by, by the devil. Okay. Um, who is this advisor? They feel that they've not been advised properly. Oh, wow. Um, about the, the money spending of the house. And they have the power to do this, okay. You are employed by us. Why did you not tell us about this financial yearly report that will expose our spending? So that they're actually approaching, that they're actually, this has tarnished their reputation and they want, they want justice for this, this torment of, tor again, torment of tarnishing their name over Frogmore Cottage um, and they, they class this person as the devil in disguise, this advisor. Well, Megan doesn't like this man in grey suits. Why did you not tell us about this? And now we're humiliated and tormented and again, our image looks really bad because you did not tell us about this going to see the solicitor about this, okay. Wow, well, they're very upset. Meghan and Harry are very upset. Um, I feel that Harry did not know about this because it was the rest of the royal family that kind of dealt with all these finances and he didn't deal with it. But they allowed this to be exposed and why did you not advise us? Why did you not advise us? I'm getting that coming through about this. Why did you not ad advise us about this? So I'm going to finish this reading off here. I have no idea what this reading is about, but it seems to be leading down a road here of uh, the christening was, uh, was a month ago, the uh, official. Those photographs are about a month old because, uh, because obviously, um, you know, this surrogate gave birth to this child. They wanted to bond with this child before they actually, and they left it too long. So how did, how long did they leave it until this child was a month old? Um, they did leave it a long time. So, okay, before they actually uh, introduced Archie, again, I get, even then, it was like, it's nothing to do with the public. 
it's private here it's private it's nothing to do with the public but we don't have to tell the public when Archie is born and all of this I think we can safely say with my readings here that this was a, a surrogate child it was born maybe even a month before they introduced the, this baby to the public um, this this uh, this christening was uh, when Archie was two months old and and then you know how, how old is Archie now then are we talking uh, two three uh, maybe four months old Archie's about four months old he will actually be teething he would be actually be teething um, so let's have a look um, here actually one of the photographs did show that that, that Archie was uh, slavering a little bit around his mouth and they do that when they start to teeth. so that's an indication too that uh, starting to teeth so three months old um, when the baby starts to teeth at three months old uh, she's kind of thinking now about this so this this christening was the baby was around three months old yeah oh gosh it doesn't make sense at all does it guys anyway so they're not happy with the advisor getting them into this bs here this circus um i think he did it deliberately because it, they want them out of the royal family and this is one of the back doors uh say well you know you should maybe you, sh you have spent too much money uh maybe um uh you know i thought you being a royal you you knew that this will be this is published every year i don't feel this advisor this this um this uh solicitor could do anything about this because in in all honesty um yes he could have said he may have said be careful how much money you're you're spending i do get that that that, that the advisor said be careful how much money you're spending here you know the public may not like it and he may have said it in a very nice manner and they've just turned around being very kind of um dogmatic as megan is and, and just turn around you know megan gets what megan wants here how dare you say how much money we can spend so he may have said that he may have said that okay and they just ignored him so let's have a look here at these cards these are my own cards here let's pull out yeah i get fire fire Now, I don't know what this fire, it could be a physical fire, or it could be somebody's going to get fired, okay, it's going to get the sack, an advisor may get fired, that's not fair, that, that's not fair that, that this, is, uh, this advisor gets fired for, for their kind of foolishness. Um, yes, they should know about this being published every year, okay. Somebody's going to get fired. They're seething about this has put more kind of um, bad reputation on top of the Sussexes. You did this deliberately. You did this deliberately. And I do get Christopher Gayet. Uh, you know, they thought, and Megan thought that she could, she's hiding behind a mask here of what she truly wants. And what she wants is to get as much money as she can here. And sorry, this is what this reading is saying. And she's been caught out here of how much she's spending. She's been caught out. How much she spent, she's actually so, this this could cause, if she's narcissistic, this could cause a narcissistic injury and, and a rage. And this is where this, all, this is all kind of coming in here. I will get you back for this. How dare you? 
okay. At this present time, they don't know which way to go. They feel a bit lost. They don't want to be part of this royal family and this fishbowl. But they also enjoy the lifestyle. But Meghan is not going with the protocol. And neither is Harry. Okay. Neither is ha They try. They try. But they don't like. They don't like the royal way of life. I feel this needs to be addressed. This needs to be addressed that they don't like and I do get a property so I do get another property here and I do get this could be in the the United States because I think Megan has had enough she's kind of done here with the UK you know every time she does anything it's like uh, you know her reputation just gets worse and worse and worse and we want to, this will be the excuse, we want our lives to be private. And we're going to, I, I don't even think they're going to say that. I think they're going to buy a house in, in the US. They're going to go over there for like three months uh, of the year. Then go to Africa for maybe two, two, uh, two months. Come back to the UK just to do duties, then back to this house in the US. I think this is the next thing here after this christening. Um, a time frame. They, they're partners in crime. I, I actually picked this up. Meghan and Harry are partners in crime. They're going to try to earn money and uh, merchandise, mer merchandise um, you know turn uh, Archie into a lot of photographs that you can actually buy uh, so crikey it's crazy um, so I also get outdoor living like um, you know eating food outside salads and um, under like a yeah I get an outdoor area and it, so the climate is going to be um, a hot climate that they choose because I see them outdoor living outdoor like a ranch kind of thing but also like a, an outdoor kind I don't know how to uh, like a, it's like an outdoor gazebo but a really nice one with lights around it and a great big table here I also get the fool the fool card foolish I'm going to leave the reading there. Are they foolish to walk away from the royal family like this? Or is this the best thing to do because of how they are damaging and tarnishing the royal family? Is it better that they go where, you know, this circus belongs in, in the US? And I'm not saying that about you guys in the US, but... Um, well, this is what I'm getting. Please put your comments in the comments section below. Also, if you'd like your own personal reading, I do do personal readings. Please give me an email or go and have a look at my website. I'll leave that in the description area. Okay. But hit the like button. Please share and also uh, comment. And uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. And bye for now. Bye bye.